Wait, wait, let's do that shot again. My name is Eric, I'm with Electric Surf Sports. I want to introduce to you today, this is the Bixby Motor. This is the versatile motor system that allows you to boost anything on the water, whether you have a kayak, stand up paddle board, you want to propel yourself under the water, we have something for everyone here today. This motor right here is one horsepower, 30 pounds of thrust. Has an attachment point at the top, so it's absolutely versatile to all these different systems. Here we have the Bixby rudder kit, this goes right on top of the motor, now that plugs right into your Hobie kayak, 15 minutes or less, you're ready to go. You have your stand-up paddleboard fin, in this case it's the inflatable. This goes right on top of the motor, connects to your outboard battery. This battery here is 404 watt hours. It's activated by a magnetic kill switch. You have your indicator on the back, and on the back here you have an auxiliary port. You can run your fish finder, your GPS, or even charge your phone with the provided 5 volt accessory that comes with every kit. When you're not using this, it's completely sealed as long as you have the attachments in place or the battery sealed. This will float in the water. It's seven pounds sealed. Positive return. This is your wireless Bluetooth remote. You have 10 forward speeds, three reverse, and your kill switch stop basically. So you can do that, or the magnetic kill switch will come off, stopping the motor. Alright, so here we have the Big Speed Mirage adapter. This kit includes two parts. You have a new nozzle that you're going to replace on your motor. Uh, you're going to need an additional tool that's not provided. It's a three millimeter Allen wrench. Then we have the Mirage Drive itself. Comes nice and protected in the strap. Oh, yeah, already comes with a disc and everything. Comes with everything you need, yep. How much is the adapter kit? Most of the adapters range anywhere from $60 to $90. So if you were to purchase the motor with the adapter, it would be $10.99. Uh, and the beauty is if you decide you wanted one kit, let's say the Hobie Rudder, for example, and then you decided, well, I really want to do this in the Mirage. The difference is just the adapter, all the other equipment is the same. So this is it, very simple. It's got the same shape, the pin configuration of the Mirage Drive. This is where the motor will attach. That's the motor right there, super tiny. Don't worry about the dirt. That means that we actually use this kayak for fishing. It's actually used for fishing. And that simply plugs in, drops right in. Cool. So on each adapter, you have your nice little cover plates. Keeps it nice and clean when you're not using it. Same with the motor. Each motor has its own little cover for the connector. Simply undo that. There's two parts to this system. You have the front latch, which is spring-loaded, and then the other part is basically a, another latch in the back that comes out. The front latch is in. Put that around the hook and snap into place. The way this is set up, it could only go in one way. You don't have to worry about doing it wrong. So you would start. Like I said, it can only go in one direction. You would made it. There's a screw to tighten it up. No problem, it still fits. Yeah, so there again? There's a different funnel. It's a here. smaller funnel, right? Yeah. To get in and out. That's the one that you say you didn't bring. Well, it's there. I just have to change it out for this one. Okay, so put in. But it, it will fit. Just have to... It's definitely at least a... Nine. A half. Yeah, it's probably around 18. Yep. That's about right. Let's try. It's not that much. It's probably six inches more than that. And that can be adjusted. So this is this is anodized aluminum. Mm -hmm. You can use a regular hacksaw. You would be able to cut obviously take the cord out, but you would be able to cut that and short it's just slightly narrower when you compare it at full rounded edges. This doesn't change the performance whatsoever. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't have the round lip oh, making it easy to get in and out. In and, out. and this one is actually sort of the scuba diver edition. It's not positively buoyant, but it has a larger battery. Longer run time, more drag in the water, it's designed for that. Same, same amount of propulsion, it's a longer run time. This would attach to the same motor that you would power all your other watercraft with, whether it's your sand and paddle board, your canoe, your kayak. And then you would push that down, and it'll tighten into place. Boom. This is the swim jet. Swim jet. Yeah, the scuba Bixby, jet. Basically. In this case, yeah, it would be the Bixby scuba jet. So they have a snorkel jet. Uh, originally it was just the Bixby swim jet and it had two different battery capacities. It's all synonymous. Um, so here we have our six Phillips. You can easily change the adapter out and that becomes your Hobie rudder kit. That'll go onto that and your Bixby motor will attach to the bottom here. So here are the other adapters we have here. I just wanted to take a quick moment. This is the Bixby. If you'll notice this is the same piece in most of these. The difference here is the adapter. As we spoke earlier, the adapters basically run anywhere from uh, $50 to $80. 
uh, which is which is nice. In case you decide you want to go with your garage, your rudder, it's the difference. It's just an adapter, the battery, the motor, the remote. It's all the same. It's an excellent feature about it. Extremely versatile. So if this switch is on, lower. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I'm ready to put it in on the water, bro. Okay. I gotta get it right through. There you go. And just put it in. I heard the beep again, it's five. All right, it should be five, right? Yeah, but you're having a good time, aren't you? I'm having a great time, aren't you? You like that boat? You can put a motor on it. I want to fix it. <laughs> you got two. Six. All right, let's do one more. Seven. Okay, so we're going at two miles an hour, and we get it. We're heading against the uh, the wave of the current. I think so. That's not bad. That's uh, a little more than that. Okay, it's between two and three. This should be the maximum. Three miles an hour. Okay, I'm gonna do a turn. Rough conditions, you can definitely hear the motor out. Come on, keep up! Hurry up! Come on! Wait, wait, let's do that shot again. Let me know when we get there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... No! Alright, so I'm gonna take a nap, guys. See you later. Alright. See how you hit the stop? It stops quickly. So, we're getting close to the shore, and I don't wanna. This is not my motor, I don't wanna damage it, so I'm just gonna take it out right now. Take it out. There you go. So we are talking about debris in the water, you were concerned that maybe we might hit something. It's no problem with the Bixby, it has a plastic nose cone that's designed to be replaceable. It's vented because there's a heat sink inside, it's blue in color, not sure if you can see that, but it's mm -hmm. uh, right on the inside. So again, um, this snaps right into place, should you break this, it's designed just like a car, it's a front impact zone if you will, a crumple zone. Um, so if it breaks, you simply get a replacement from Bixby, no problem, and you're back in business. So it doesn't actually damage the motor. Just takes all the brunt, and it uh, looks like we might have just popped something in the water, but that's exactly what it's designed to do. I like it, I think I like it better on the back, like that, because that way I'm gonna be able to use my Your Mirage. My Mirage drive. Absolutely, so a lot of people prefer to retain their Mirage pedals and they'll use the rudder instead. And another nice feature is you have the safety kick up. So in the event that you do hit something underwater, even though it has the protective nose cone, this will come off, absorbing some of the impact. And then if it's really shallow, you could always pull up the motor yourself. And it'll tuck in nice and neat right on the back. And if you get tired, use it as an assist. So right now it retains, you don't even have to power the big speed. This is a rudder just the same. You retain your stock steering. 
This will not affect your steering at all. It will still work just the same way. If it's under power, it will steer even better. So when you're at full turn, it's a little more than 45 degrees each direction, so it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sharp on that. You'll see if you, if you have the current behind you, you'll turn right on a dime. Good. Bungee it down right there. That's why Hobie charges you. Okay, so. Okay, so you were using the Titan for a while. Yeah, and uh, as a consumer, um, I would like a motor. <laughs> Even if it's just as an assist. It's on the way back, you're tired, you know, you've been out fishing. We were out there for how long? Four hours? And four hours. Well, close it's to been a while, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, having a motor assist just to come back is a very nice feature and uh, definitely something I would look forward to in future trips. Yeah, and just try to hold that compared to this aluminum drive which is very sturdy it's really good but it weighs a ton and it's huge it works great you get tired after a while you know heading into the wind against the current it, it works well but 